I love reading. It's been the best thing in my life. Superman cool. When we are at home, we like to read to each other. Every week at our assemblies we have prefects who give book reviews and occasionally I do a book review myself. <laughs> Often books that I've borrowed out of the school library. I give a little summary of the books. A lot of them are quite humorous and good fun. And so that also just adds to the culture of reading in the school. Mr McLeod often talks about books that he's read or other teachers have read and recommends them. We usually have a flood of people coming in to reserve the book he's just promoted. Three days a week we have 15 minute slots uh, for reading and that's a major within the school and uh, the teachers model the reading in the classes with the students and it's purely reading for pleasure. There's no prescribed reading, there's no tests on the reading. It's just for the, the sheer pleasure of reading and because we believe that reading is so important it does uh, improve the vocabulary of the students and the understanding and it has tremendous spin-off benefits in every other area of their learning. And pull! And pull! I encourage my students to read by being passionate about it myself. So when I go to the library every Saturday with my son, I come back to school on Monday and share my experience with my well, children and say to them, oh, uh, what did you do this yeah. weekend? I went to the library with my son and we chose these books. And while he was choosing his books, I chose my books and tell them a bit about the book that I chose. And I can't wait to get home and read it. And it sort of gets them thinking, oh, she, you know, she's reading at home. It's an activity to do on the weekend, it's free. What does enormous mean? Can you show me with your hands? Enormous, can you get up and show me with your legs too? Enormous! I've got my children for 40 weeks in a year and then they move on. In those 40 weeks I cannot teach them absolutely everything they need to know. But if I can teach them to love reading, they've got access to information for the rest of their lives. So it's really important for me as a teacher to make sure that I solidly embed that passion and that love for reading, not just to gain information, but for pleasure. And the more children read, the broader their minds will go. I love working in the library because I get to recommend books to other students. There's stuff for everybody. There is nothing like the peers recommending the books can sell it way more than I could ever sell it. Our library staff are seen as a really important part of the whole staff in the school. And I think that's partly because of the role they've created for themselves as learning leaders within the school, particularly around collaborative learning and inquiry learning. We have a system we call being matched with a book. And so the students come over and Jeanette will say to them, you know, what are you interested in? You can't promote books unless you're out on the shop floor and just looking at what they're getting, chatting to them. Those students who just are non-readers, not interested, it's made a big change for them. It's just being amongst the students. Summer reading's really important to us. Students who take out most books read most books in the holidays. So if they only take one or two, they only read one or two. Summer reading is really strongly promoted. Um, not just by the librarians, but through all of our junior staff and our English teachers. They're all strongly encouraging students to take books out of the library. In the past, we used to close the library off about November and you couldn't get any more books out. But now we're actually encouraging students to take books out for the Christmas holidays. We do it every holidays and we call it book break and advertise it in the week or two beforehand. Every holidays we're reminded to make sure we take six books home and get them read over the holidays. We've got book week coming up and it's so big that we try and incorporate all the different ideas from the kids and the teachers. 
We try and encourage reading as a family activity, so not just in isolation but also sharing. I like to read to my sister and it's really fun. When I read to them, my little nephew, he always claps his hand and like he always smiles at me. As a staff, we try and form a relationship with the parents and you're all working towards the same goal to raise the literacy levels of the children and for them to get enjoyment out of literacy, to visit the local library and to make that part of their lives. The literacy team have a homeschool partnership evening. We decided to hold some of the sessions at our closest library, Mangaree East Library, and invite the parents. And we had an overwhelming amount of parents that attended. And of those parents, the majority did not belong to the library. So on that night, the librarian was there and issued cards and got them signed up right there and then immediately. And the children could take home books that very night. So we knew at least for that one night, there were books in those homes and they were being read and the children came back to school the next day and were so excited about it. So we keep saying to them, go back to the library, change your books, swap your books. It's like getting new things all the time and you don't even have to pay any money for it. We believe that reading and writing, as well as the child's um, entire curriculum, is a partnership between home, school, and any other caregivers that they have outside of school, and making sure that the, uh, what we do at school flows at home and vice versa, so the child gets a holistic um, approach to their learning. I like a lot of books, for example, Dr. Seuss books. When I'm at home, I like to read Harry Potter books and Royal Dog books. If I see an interesting book that catches my eye, then I have a look at it. If I like them, then I keep on reading them and find the next one in the series. My favorite book is The Captain Underpants and um, The Goosebumps. The Boring Book, How to Grinch Still Christmas, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl and Mr. Whistler. I think Cat in a Hat is cool. Yeah.